We are here at the 2005 State Bodybuilding Championships where 39-year-old Cephas Bacon would try to obtain his sixth state title of his career. Ultimately, he would love to make a second trip to the Nationals and win his pro membership card with the International Federation of Bodybuilding. Cephas has been competing over the last 10 years and has been training for the past two decades. What many people don't know is that Cephas is also known as DJ C Justice in the hip-hop world. He's worked with such legends as Queen Latifah, 45 King, David Sanborn, Shaba Ranks, and Lakem Shabazz. Currently, his company Righteous Force Production is putting out an eight-volume compilation of the Jersey Street Tapes, featuring independent rap artists from across the Garden State. We are now going behind the scenes with the legendary C Justice as he tells us some little-known facts about bodybuilding. Yeah, man, this is what's up, man. You know what I'm saying, right here. Yeah, okay. So where is it? Right now, this here, this is a state champion show. Um, I think this is in Kenilworth, New Jersey this year, yo. I think it was okay. Berkeley High they had this one at, yo. Word up. Uh, is this like the backstage area? Or? Yeah, this is uh, what Seems we like do in the back. Yeah, this is where the cats so are. Those that are going to be in the competition. You know what I mean? They come back here to do their thing and whatnot, get themselves prepared to go out on stage. So, just final preparations, you know what I mean? Before you go out there in front of those judges and whatnot and have them look, over, look at you over, making sure that you, you know, you yeah. came correct. So, what do the judges look for? Uh, like, is they anything? Look for proportion, muscle proportion. They look for uh, vascularity, you know, they look okay. for definition, uh, symmetry, you know. Um, Size, clarity, they look for a lot of different things, you know. Uh, shit, oral hygiene, you know, you have to be clean and shaved pretty much. Okay. So, you know, they, they're looking for a lot of things, making sure all the muscle groups are intact and, you know, everything is complete. So it depends on, you know, how you're coming in there, man, is what's going to determine where you place. So, I mean, what are you, I mean, what are you doing now? Is this like an exercise or a warm up or? Yeah, basically, well, a couple of my boys back there, you know, um, my man Steve and uh, Craig, they uh, are helping me out, you know what I mean? Pretty much, uh, it's like uh, they drilling me a little bit here, giving me some poses, some poses I need to hit, you know, mm -hmm. right there, it's a domino shot and whatnot, they're looking me over, making sure that, you know, I'm prepared, I'm right, you know, ready to go out there, you know, they... they so you gotta stand like this on stage in order for you to be like judged on. Yeah, well, this here particular pose is, uh, like I said, that was um, the front um, domino pose, hands over the head, you know, one leg extended and whatnot. Yeah, those different poses. That's most muscular. One of the most muscular poses there. Uh, pretty much, yeah. You have to stand. It depends on, you know, the competition you're up against and whatnot. And they want to see, you know, who's who, what's what. Uh -huh. So, you know. So, do you ever like pre scout the competition? Uh, sometimes you may go down, you know, to the gyms, local gyms, and see who might be lurking about, who may be training a little bit hard and whatnot. Uh, local shows, you're only going to deal with those that are, you know, in your area, immediate area. Once you start hitting national shows, then you gonna pretty much run into some of those other jokers out there that's doing their thing and uh, they usually have a newsletter that comes around and tells people in what different areas who's doing what so you kinda got an idea of who's who and you know some cats develop names for themselves so okay. you know they be looking out listening for that name you know so you're like a you're like a six time state bodybuilding champion so now, what, what does it tell you? I mean, I'm what trying you... to get that six time. Actually, I want seven, but, <laughs> you know, I, I'm five, I'm five right now, you know. Hopefully, I'm actually trying to do two guard state classic, and then I will be seven time state champion. Okay. But, uh, yeah, um, right now I'm five. I'm going for number six, you know. Oh. Hopefully, Allah is definitely there behind me, and uh, I can grant get that, you know what I mean? So what does it take to get, like, prepared for all this? Uh, the preparation is from eating to exercising to resting properly. I mean, you have to get, you know, you want to get at least eight hours in of sleep, you know, rest your body properly. You want to eat, you want to, you know, keep it hydrated. Uh, and you want to train hard and, you know, you want to keep 
a mental balance. You want to stay focused with it, you know. Okay. Oh, so who are these um who are these people here? That was some of the cats I was talking about earlier. It's my man uh, Craig with the hat, my man Steve right there on okay. the other side of me and whatnot. And, uh, which is cool about these brothers. They compete as well. They're bodybuilders, and uh, which is cool. All three of us are lightweights. And uh, me and Steve, we grew up together. So like you're, all of you cooperate together and there's no really ill will amongst y'all. Nah, 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 you know, we all family, we brothers, we doing our thing. Yeah, I mean, I only there. mention that because it seems like it'd really be a competitive, like, sport. But yeah, well, they put that front out there to make it seem like that, but nah, man, it's all love. The only time you want to you, you get that battle mode is when you in stage, on stage for those judges, man. And just like in a boxing ring, you know. But um, okay. nah, we, we we really a close knit man, really tight family, you know. What I mean, we make sure each other's very well taken care of and anything, and uh, yeah, sort of jazz. Even when we're in competitions together, competing against one another, you know, we make sure each one is boiled up properly, got the night right, you know. Somebody needs some water, some Pedialyte, or something of that nature, you know, some bananas or something like that. We always bring an extra. In Sure, everybody is, you know, took care of right. We don't know if I get sick or not, not like that out there, you know. It's just very easy for you to, you know, you're on the borderline of dehydration, so it's sort of, you know, you flirt with, you know, an unbalanced yeah, like here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, you could get sick if you if you don't you, you don't come correct. So it's all a science, like I said, man. If you you know if you got too much salt and whatever, too much this, that, and the third, you know. Your meal ain't gonna come out properly, so you make sure you prepare yourself, and you, you know you gotta treat everything. So, so, so like, how long did it take you to realize that you wanted to do this as like a competitive sport, like bodybuilding? Like, what influenced you to actually, I guess, go out here and I see right now getting ordered by um uh, two people right here? Yeah, them are peeps. They the same peeps. They making sure I'm going out there. This made me really want to get into this, uh, you know, back in the day, played a lot of baseball, and, uh, shoot, tell you the truth, we used to watch Lou Ferrigno, and, uh, you know, the Incredible Hawk Days, and, you know, I had my little dumbbells in between commercials, hitting them off, we're getting ready for the baseball season, and, you know, some push-ups and stuff like that, wrestling a little bit, but, uh, whatever I touched the weight, man, it was like, blam, you know, I did some push-ups, blam, everything just popped, so, you know, after I got out of high school, 84, I had a little bit of time on my hands. I started training, and before I knew it, was bit by the bug. And, you know, lo and behold, here I am. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to grab my sixth title, you know what I mean? So that's what it is. So this is what we're seeing right here. Yeah, basically, you know, it's prejudging. Um, got me out there doing my, uh, basically, uh, my, not mandatory, but um, my individual, individual freestyle type. Times when people don't let you know, you know, the posing is is woo, almost 90 percent of uh, you know getting prepared for a show. If you're wow. not posing right, then you know that's just it. You ain't gonna get there. 